Imagine that. Distressed furniture oh, is the best character to any space. It can help make a room look like it was collected over time, which is one of my goals every time I approach There's this. There's your friend! Especially when you mix distressed pieces with more modern pieces. I love the mix there. So this is a photo of a chest before, uh, you can see, and after with the distressing. It adds just sort of a little bit of character, and I, you have to be really careful not to overdo it. Here's a picture of a chair that we found on the side of the road as well. The fabric, I'll let you all decide how you feel about that. Notice the frame no room covered in something simple, and it looks really good. Here's a side table as well. You can see the difference between the two of them. It's fine in the original dark finish, but when you see it in the distressed finish, it actually feels like you went out and found it. So it's a very easy thing to do. They can actually be antique, made out of antique reclaimed materials. Like, for instance, this rug pillow. These are some of my favorite things to decorate with because you can find lots of different textiles. Oftentimes when big rugs or killing rugs were damaged, they would cut them into pieces and you can still enjoy them in pillows. So this is something that I search for and when I travel really anywhere. Or you can absolutely cheat the look by distressing new items like this sofa table that we found at Lowe's. This was just plain black again. It was perfectly lovely. We sanded all the areas and one thing to keep in mind is when you're distressing, you sand the corners or the edges of everything so that it, those would be the areas that would naturally wear when you were pulling a drawer in and out, for instance. So, the chevron frame, which we found at Etsy, which I love, one of my favorite patterns, I say it all the time, practically almost every day. It looks very modern, but the distressing gives it a lot of character so that it looks, again, <laughs> like something that could be made out of salvage wood or something reclaimed. And the weathered wood mirror, the weathered wood chair. I just have a real affinity to these finishes because I think they add so much character to the space. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>